welcome. You're watching DBMN TV. This is Monli Sarumbai bringing to you the solution news across the globe. Coming up next, Salation News Asia Pacific. Hello folks, glad to have you join us for the 148th episode of Salation News Asia Pacific. I'm your host RJ Brad of Radio Salation 90.8 FM, the voice of the hills, the first community radio of Don Bosco Asia since 2016. This show is brought to you by Church Art Kolkata, the church decor people. Thailand Salesian School facilitates ordination of 101 Buddhist novices. Father Ekasit Thalakulton reports from Bangkok. In Thailand, the number of Catholics is only 0.4% of the total population. That is 400,000 people out of a population of over 70 million in the Salesian schools more than 95% of the students are Buddhists. In this context, Sang Thong Vitaya School, a Salesian school in southern Thailand, in conjunction with the Alum Alumni Association and the Parents Teachers Association, led by Mr. Pudit Pongracha, the alumnus president, organized the ordination ceremony for 101 novices as Buddhist monks. This ceremony was held for the 10th time from the 11th to 25th March 2023 at the Wat Kao in the presence of the Salesian Rector and Director of the school. A male aged between 7 to 20 years old can be ordained as a novice for a temporary period of time during which Novices will study religious teachings, practice spiritual meditation, and also practice living together as a group to know how to work as a team, know how to sacrifice, have a spirit of volunteerism, being considerate, like helping to wash the dishes and helping to clean the accommodation. When the novice reaches 20 years of age, he can be considered for the Upasombot ordination or higher ordination, whereby the novice becomes a monk, Piku, either for a short period of time or may be ordained for life. Father Ekasitala Kultron reporting. Pope Francis declared 2025 as the Ghibli year. Church Art Kolkata offers a fitting inspiration to the Jubilee year with its collection of life-size statues, 14 Stations of the Cross, 20 Mysteries of the Holy Rosary, Lives of Saints and innumerable murals on the life of Jesus and liturgical designs to embellish existing church doors. Also available are 10 panels of St. Francis of Assisi's Canticle of Creation to testify your institution's green commitment. For hassle-free professional service, contact Don Bosco Past Pupil by email churchart.ganguli at the rate gmail.com or WhatsApp, Telegram, country code 9198310-20945. Vietnam 130 aspirants from three centers join Lenten Retreat. Father Hong Fuok reports from Ho Chi Minh City. On the first Sunday of Lent, 26th of February, 2023, 130 aspirants from the three vocational centers of the Vietnam province, Minh Cát, Cần Thơ, Xuân Hiệp, had a recollection at the provincial house in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. After welcome words by Vice Provincial, Provincial Delegate for Youth Ministry, Father Peter Nguyễn Viet Quang Minh conducted animation sessions with time for confession and a friendly chat. Provincial Father Bagna Basle and Form, Con celebrated the Eucharist with provincial economy and the Salesians in charge of the three vocational centers. After lunch, the group moved to the Philip Rinaldi Theological Community for friendly matches. Father Hong Fuok reporting. Sri Lanka General Counselor for Missions visit Salesian Pre Novitiate. 
Development Officer for the Viraj Chamara reports from Negembo. As part of the animation visit to the Salesian Vice Province of Sri Lanka, General Council of Omissions, Father Alfred Maravilla, presided over the Eucharist and handed over the cross to 10 pre novices as a sign of the beginning of their formation journey. Three pre novices are from Pakistan and seven are from Sri Lanka. The Salesian pre novitiate Don Bosco Kota Denyava is located in Gampa district of Western Sri Lanka. The Salesian Sacred Heart novitiate at Arambegama is situated in Kandy. Father Viraj Chamara reporting. You are listening to Salesian News on Radio Salesian from Salesian College, Sonada Da Chilling. <music> Philippines Don Bosco Tech holds Association of Southeast Asian Nations meeting. Lia Castro reports from Manila. Don Bosco Tech ASEAN country coordinators and representatives from their respective foreign offices gathered in Manila, Philippines for their first biannual meeting. It was attended by the country coordinator from Cambodia, Indonesia, East Timor, Vietnam and the Don Bosco Tech ASEAN Executive Council coordinator and the Executive Director of Don Bosco One Tibet, Philippines. The Project Manager of Public Cooperation Partners of Don Bosco Mondo and the Managing Director of Don Bosco Tech ASEAN took part in the meeting. This in-person meeting made it possible for the coordinators and representatives to finally set foot in the Don Bosco Tech ASEAN Central Office for the first time. Participants personally witnessed technical and vocational education and training in the Philippines by visiting some Don Bosco TVET centers. Leah Castro reporting. Coming soon. Look out for brand new show with news desk and live anchor from 1st April 2023, marking the uninterrupted and glorious 150th episode of Salesian News Asia Pacific, started on 24th May 2020. We welcome your good wishes on short 40 second video clips shot in landscape mode. Send to WhatsApp number 9007-626301. It will be featured on Radio Salesian 90.8 FM and Salesian TV. India 300 students visit skill competition exhibition. Father Joseph Charles reports from Tiruchi. Don Bosco Tech Exhibition 2023 and skill competitions were organized at Don Bosco ITA Amsam Novelur Kuttapattu Trichy on 2nd March 2023 to improve the practical skills in each trade. About 300 students from St. Vincent Matriculation Higher Secondary School Anna Yindra Higher Secondary School, KMC Nursing College and Birth ITI visited the exhibition. Staff of Career Guidance Center of Don Bosco Varigati gave motivational talks to the visiting students. All the students of Don Bosco Industrial Training Institute participated in the skill competition and the best projects were awarded. Father Joseph Charles reporting. India Intercollege Fest draws 200 plus colleges with 1,250 participants in 17 events. Festival Director Father Ernest Rosario reports from Chennai. The Student Council and Cultural Club of Don Bosco Arts and Science College, Chennai, organized its first ever mega intercollegiate culture fest, Jive 23, on 13th and 14th March 2023. The event had some 200 colleges from arts and science, medical and engineering streams from in and around Chennai. The cultural fest had 17 on and off stage events in which 1,250 students participated. Jive 23 was a platform to create awareness and obstruct the influx of toxic substances among today's sophisticated youngsters who take to drugs as an escape route from the harsh realities of life. 50 plus celebrities from the media industry supported this cause and were present for the event. During the valedictory function that was held on the second day, winners of various events received their awards. Father Ernest Rosario reporting. Those are the latest from Salesian News Asia Pacific. This show was brought to you by Church Art Kolkata, the church decor people. Enjoy the rest of your day.
So viewers, that is all we have for you today. Until we meet again, thank you for watching.